I was out at one of my creeks. And there was a calf moose stuck down in a tailing pile. It couldn't make up the side of the tailings because they're so loose. So I called Fish and Game. I said, there's a calf out here if you want to come rescue it. And it was towards the end of the day, and they said, nah. I said, well, wh what about tomorrow? He said, it won't be there tomorrow. And I went out there the next day, and it was just bones. Wolves came in, hit it, ate it. How often do you see wolves? All the time. That's awesome. I got I got wolves within. I see wolves come into the boneyard. Really? Go, oh, fuck. They smell that, and they go, it's time to eat. Ugh. Oh, they like that rotten meat, man. God. We got lynx there that hang out. Drew was walking up the draw one day, and they're, he looked up, and there was a big lynx about 15 feet away from him just looking at him. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? What are you coming up here in my neighborhood for? And he kind of backed away, and I'm going to get out of here. I only saw a lynx once. I saw a lynx in, uh, lynx in uh, Alberta. Wild-looking cat. <clears throat> Cool-looking animal. Yep. So those wolves, uh, are they ever a threat to people up there? When there's a pack of them, they're a threat to anything. You know, they... But they generally don't fuck with people? They, it's hard to see wolves. It actually is hard to find them. But sometimes, like where we're at, you can hear them howling. You can, you can, they're actually out there making noise. Wow. Looking for each other. And, um, you know, we're in their neck of the woods. They're not in my neck of the woods. You know, suddenly there's a road there. And they're going, what the fuck? Who put this in here? This is good walking. Mm. I can walk. I got a picture in my phone of a pack of wolves that went by an underground miner that's one on one of my creeks. And there's, you know, they've got signs up that say no trespassing and all that. Wolves are just walking by like, we don't care. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I asked the same guy. I said, you, you ever see bears out here? Now, this guy did several tours in Vietnam as a sniper because he liked his job. I said, do you uh, see a lot of bears out here? He goes, I hate bears. I said, have you ever shot one out here? He goes, I've shot 57 of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you probably shouldn't say that on the podcast. That guy might be in trouble. No. No? No. Life and property, man. Well, and they, they will take life, and they will take property. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He uh, he will take their life. He doesn't like them. Well, I've, only, I've only shot one bear. I yeah. tried to shoot a grizzly once, and my rifle jammed. Have you ever eaten bear? No. Tastes good. Believe it or not, especially black bear. Black bear is good. Uh, my friend Steve Ranella um, said that some of the best meat he's ever eaten is black bear that have been eating blueberries. Oh, I bet. And he shot them up in Alaska, too. That's yeah. where he got it. I would have probably eaten black bear if that day I shot the black bear at the cabin if we had more time, but we were running up to the cut to go to work, and I cut a couple of his claws off, and we buried it. Just didn't have time. But he was... Again, life and property, tearing the door off to get yeah. inside where the food was. Yeah, well, they're predatory, too. They'll kill people. Yep. Black bears will kill people. And a kid got killed at Rutgers University. He was in the woods outside of Rutgers University a few years back in New Jersey. Yeah. New Jersey has the highest amount of black bears per capita in the United States. How crazy is that? That's crazy. Yeah, and they banned hunting. We have to stop the bear hunt. The bears are your friends. And then bear human encounters increased by over 200% over the term of this new governor. And then he finally relinquished and now reopened the bear hunt. And now they're going to extend the bear hunt. They're going to hunt more of them. Because bears are not easy to hunt, too. And unless you're in open fields in the, in the spring where they're coming out and they're eating grass, generally they hunt them in the thick shit with bait. And people are like, oh, that's so wrong. You're using bait. But it's literally the only way to control their populations. You won't find them. Like when, when we're up in Alberta and you go through the woods, you hardly ever see black bears. You yeah. hardly, but they're everywhere. They're all over the place. They just smell you coming a fucking million miles away and they steer clear. Yeah, they do. So, so do wolves. Yep. We got a lot of coyotes out there at the, the boneyard. And. I'll show you a picture that my friend John Rivett sent me from Alberta. He sent me this recently. A couple of weeks ago, there was uh, wolves up there in front of one of his trail cams. And uh, 
it's uh, pretty fucking cool pictures. Let me find this. I know he sent it to me recently. Oh, he might have sent it with Jen, too. Uh, but they live in a very remote part of Alberta where it's, you know, it's all what they call crown land up there. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just, well, you know what? It might be on Instagram. I'm not going to find it. I know he sent it to me recently, but it's pretty fucking cool. These bears that are up there, or these wolves, rather, that are up there, uh, they killed something, and they're all surrounding it, tearing it apart, and it just happened to be in front of one of his trail cameras. They caught it. Wow. Because they have, they have trail cameras set up on yep. the, all these various roads to see what's walking in and walking out, and they killed something right, you know, a few hundred yards, or a few yards, rather. Yeah, they, uh, I let guys trap beaver on my ground, and beaver's can fuck up a water system pretty quick. Mm. Especially if you have flowing water, you need to keep flowing. And they'll dam it up, and then you got problems. Mm. So we have guys that go out and trap beavers in the winter. I ate beaver. I've never had beaver. I had beaver with Steve Rinella. He cooked it. He made like a beaver pot roast. It was delicious. It tasted almost like beef. It was very good. Oh, that kind of beaver. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the other guy. Right. Yeah, the other the other thing they used to eat, we we tried, but it's disgusting, is the tail. They used to eat, be, like pioneers used to eat beaver tail. The trappers used to eat it because it was a, a very good source of fat because the tail is basically all fat, but it's pretty nasty. Did you try that? Yeah, I ate it. I've never had that. It's, a, it's kind of weird. It's not something you're interested in, but if you're starving... Yeah, you know, it would be a source of fat, and I think that's what they were doing it for. But the the meat itself, like I said, he he braised it and then he slow cooked it. it was very good. It was like surprising to me that people don't hunt beavers for food. That's how good it was. Yeah, because they hunt them primarily for their pelts. Yep. Yeah, it's a warm pelt too. You know. It's, oh yeah. It's great fur. So when you're up there, you have. You got wolves in that area, you have bears in that area, you got moose, you got all this wildlife, and then you have this piece of ground where all these animals from thousands of years ago died. That is a special place you have. It is. It really is. And it's been fairly unknown about. Till now. 